Uh-huh. But I believe it's, it's uh, God wants me to guide, you know? Okay. I'm not 100% like a church person. Yeah. I do go to church. I do. Have and you? I do pray. I pray every day. I I am so thankful. All the family and the life that God provides for me. Amen. So, Have you heard of uh, John 3.16? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what it says? Uh, kind of, yeah. Okay. It says, for God so loved the world, that's all of us, mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, all right? it is. Yeah. That whosoever, that's you, me, whosoever, believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life yes so do you believe in jesus i do okay. i do i what did jesus do for you i feel well he has done so many things for me among my my family yeah i i am in a position right now okay that i feel uh -huh. that if it's if it's god will willingness to pick me up right now and take me to his side or take me to, to a better, yes, uh -huh. to heaven, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. That's right. Because I'm, well, not, you, I'm not afraid of dying. Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying. Well, you know, Jesus conquered death. You know, he died on the cross. And yes, it, and we us. just And it, we just celebrated Easter in three days. What mm -hmm. happened? Yeah. He rose from the grave. Yes. So, it, by Jesus, by believing in Jesus and his shed blood on the cross, which pays for all our sins, we can go to heaven as well. Yes, yes, I, I understand that and I believe, I believe so, I believe so. And I don't think that there's no human mother that could pass by what Mary passed with him. Because I'm so, when, when my kids are hurt, mm -hmm. I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. So I just imagine her pain, passing, giving his only son, and see his only son sacrificing for us and mm -hmm. giving his life for us. That's right. I don't think there's a human right nowadays, it's a human mother that could pass through that pain. Yeah. So I do, I do appreciate yeah. very much that God did that for us, sacrifice for us, and give his life for us. Amen. And I do appreciate that Mary, he, he, he condolences Mary so Mary can stand seeing all this, his pain, his suffering. You know, Mary could see all these things wrong. Well, Mary, him. God is no respecter of persons, and Mary is a person just like you. Um, she was just someone just like any of the disciples right. was just used by him to 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 bring to usher in our Savior Jesus Right. And yeah. uh, it tells us in Ephesians 2 8 and 9 it says for by grace are ye saved Yes through faith and that not of yourselves. It's a gift of God yeah. Not of works I, lest any man should boast I So think that, I think that nowadays a uh -huh. lot of a lot of us what yeah. we need is more faith because yeah. we think on something, but we don't have the faith on something. Yeah. One thing, one thing is to think about it, yeah. and another thing is to have faith that it's going to happen. Yeah. And a lot of us right now we're focused too much on material, too much. We see like um, all this media everywhere, and we focus on that. We don't focus on faith. We don't focus on. What it used to be that you say, I know that I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to put this problem on hands on God. And I know that I'm going to have a result. And he's going to let me know what to do better. Yeah. But right now, it's, it's, it's about faith. I mean, not I, I'll say from 100% of people, maybe two or one yeah. has faith. Do you have faith in Jesus? I do. All right. I do. So then, why should God let you into heaven? You remember, you have faith in Jesus. Uh -huh. He paid for you your sins on the cross. Mm -hmm. And he resurrected. And so, he saved you by dying on the cross and yes. rising from the grave. 
So why yes. should God let you into heaven? It's not because of you. It's because of what Jesus did on the cross. Yes. And, and, and what he did is like, you do something for me. Of course, you're not expecting for me to pay you back, but I should be grateful. Mm -hmm. I should say, well, because God did this to me, this is what I need to do for him. Because mm -hmm. I, That's I'm right. a grateful people. That's right. You know, a person. I, I, I don't... I don't think that he just died just like that. Oh, well, nobody asked him to do it, and he did it because he wanted. No. I think he was shoes, and he was the right person, and he did it for us. You believe and us, we need to pay him back somehow. Well, in terms of, uh, not for salvation, but you're right, in terms of as, as believers, we should live for him. You're right. Right. Do um, you believe that Jesus is God Almighty? Yes. Amen. Yes, I do. Amen. Yes, and I know that every single thing that we have on this world, yes. He is providing for it. That's right. You know, every day I tell my kids, they're already uh, out of the house and back. Okay. They're making their life. All right. Our, I tell my kids, don't ask God more than what He knows that you can handle. Mm. Because how, why are you going to ask God to give you the lottery <laughs> and let's say that you win it. What are you going to do about it? You're going to forget about God. You're not going to think about God. Mm -hmm. You're going to think about the material, not, not, the, not the spiritual. So I always tell him, don't ask God more than you know you cannot handle well, why God, are you gonna ask for a big house yeah, a mansion yeah you well, need God, to have god will provide everything that we need not everything yes. that we want that's yes. that's great advice to your mm -hmm. son and in romans 8 uh 9 it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that god have raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved yes so if you truly believe that and you've confessed jesus then that's why god should let you into heaven because you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It I says, do. with the heart, man, yeah, I do, and believe I do, it unto righteousness. I do, I do believe what he Amen. did. It Amen. He was, was real. Amen. And I know he suffered because, That's right. like, nowadays, a lot of people, at that time, they were thinking of something else, not like social media right now. Yeah. But they were thinking of something else, and they never believed in him. And the people who believe in him, of course, they're on his right hand side. Amen. Right? Yeah, that's right. The people who believe right. in him, they're yes. up there. And they're in heaven. Inside. Amen. Yeah. And, and you will be too. And that's a, that's called the church. You know, we're called the church, the believers. We're the body of Christ. Oh, um, that's, that's what being born again is. Uh -huh. by the, by, born by the spirit, not by the flesh. And that's what Je when Jesus was talking to Nicodemus, he told him to be, you must be born again right. to see the kingdom. So the second you believe, in, in John 1 12 it says to as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name and what's the name above all names Wow Jesus mm -hmm. amen yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are blessing today I appreciate it. see I got the right person it was supposed to be somebody else but God <laughs> had me come to this uber ride you never know. <laughs> Yeah, we're all around, and you never know when you're going to yeah. hit that person, you know? That's right. That's right. Yeah, I am a Christian lady, Amen. and, I, and I, I, try, I, I try every day. I try every day, and I am focused my family to live as a Christian. Amen. To do the best out of it on your life, because at the end, it's you who stop their mm -hmm. eyes and... The people is looking at you. The grandkids are looking at you. Mm. The, like the grandkids are looking at the grandparents. Yeah. We are the example of them. That's right. That's right. And like I said, I, <clears throat> I, I um make my prayers every day in the morning. Amen. Right here. Amen. I feel pleased. I feel. I feel like my soul is on peace because Amen. every day I get in contact with God. I. Thank him first of all for my life. That's right. My health. That's right. My family. Yeah. Every single thing. My my job. My work. The people is yes. who's gonna be 
in my office. You know, I appreciate this. Is your that. office. I this like how you say. <laughs> well, you prayed and for I me to sit here. Yes. I feel and it. I, I feel God. it. Amen. And I tell God, <laughs> uh huh. Thankful for every person Amen. who sit in my office. Amen. And take care of me yeah. on every ride that I'm driving. Amen. You know, protect you. Yes, He's your provider. He's your protector. Yes. That is all right. And then, and then at the end of the day, when I'm finished doing my job and I'm already back at home and park at home, I thank him because I say, thank you so much for today. Oh. What you provide for me, what you give me, what to take care of me, That's to right. protect me from any accident. That's to right. Protect me from any, any, um, anything that in life, you know. Amen. And and that's what I tell my kids also. I in love the morning, it. thank God for what you have wake up on life. And thank God in the night in in your room and when you have the time for you, thank him because he's the only one who's providing what you have. That's right. Yeah. He's what our provider. Have, he, he well, you're telling him right. You are definitely telling him right. You've been a blessing today. Well, Cal, <laughs> you have a right to your destination. Thank you so much. Bye. And it was a blessed day that to come to you. And, and we have a nice <laughs>